Hello there, you're welcome to Jacket Masterclass. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple trick that you can use to download stock photos from iStockPhoto.com without you paying a dime. I know that sounds interesting to you, right? If this is actually what you want to learn, then come closer. Let me show you how it's been done. Great. What is iStock Photo? Okay. Stock Photo is one of those um, online platforms, online websites where you can download Dava stock images. But one thing about iStockPhoto.com is that their images are not for free. You have to subscribe for their different packages in order for you to be able to download their stock photos. Okay, otherwise, whatever you download from their platform, from their website, as a non-subscriber, as a non-member of the website, we come with watermark, and that is not what you want. Great. Now, the thing you need to do first is to simply head on straight to iStockPhoto.com. Okay, as you can see on my screen. Okay, just type www.iStockPhoto.com on your search bar. When you're done doing that, you click your enter button. And it will bring you straight to the home page of iStockPhotos.com. Great. The moment you get to iStockPhotos.com, the thing that you need to do is to simply provide the keyword for the picture or image or stock photo that you are searching for. Take, for instance, you are looking for a particular image that will enable you to do a particular design. Let's say you are a coach, you are a trainer, you want to design a, a, a slide. That you will use to carry out a training. Of course, you will need certain pictures that will depict what you are trying to explain in those your slides. So all you need to do is to come over to iStockPhoto.com and provide a keyword. In other words, type that particular image that you are looking for. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at uh, internet of things. Okay, let's go to internet of things. Internet of Things, great. Let me go for Internet of Things technology. I click on it. Whatever it is that you want to get stock photo for, just type it on the search bar on this page. That is what I'm trying to say in essence. If it is food, if it is cat, if it is dog, if it is car, if it is um, snacks, whatever it is, type it there. The moment you're done providing the keyword for the stock photo that you want, I, I click enter. I stop photo.com will automatically generate photos that are related to the keyword that you have provided right great then when that happens all you are expected to do now is to go through the entire photo that the site has generated for you to look for that particular one two three photos that resonate with what you are looking for so you take your time and go through them for me there's a particular photo that stand out here which is this Okay, just click on the one that you want to use, that you are interested in, that is appealing to you. Click on it. The moment you're done clicking on it, it will bring you to this home page, right? Now, when you get to this home page, watch out. As you can see, there is watermark on this image. If you try to download this image the way this image is, without you subscribing, this watermark will still come with the image, right? Now, in order for you to download this stock photo without this watermark, okay, you need to subscribe, okay? As you can see on the screen, okay, is $9.99 US dollars for subscription if you want to get this, this image. Now, as a non-member on the go, you pay $9.99 to get it. But if you are a subscribed member, the next fee is what, $2.49, okay, that you pay to get this image. But well, you know what? This video will show you a simple trick that you will put in place to download this stock photo and every and any other kind of stock photos from this platform without you paying a dime. Interesting, right? Follow me. Let me show you what to do next. So the next thing you are expected to do when you get to this stage is to simply click, look for the URL of this image that is the image link address okay in order for you to get the image link address 
simply right click on the image right click on your mask of the image come over here and click copy image address that is one way to get the image address another way to get the image address is to come over to your browser okay the moment you click on the image the image address is what will automatically appear on your browser on your search um browser okay you, you double click on it as you can see double click on it then it will be highlighted then you click ctrl c from your keyboard and copy it or alternatively right click your mask okay a pop down menu will appear for you then simply click on copy okay the moment you do that you have copied the um, image address so you copy the image address that is what you are expected to do Another thing that you are, you are expected to do before you copy the image address is to scroll down. When you scroll down the page, okay, iStock Photo will show you different other photos that are related to the particular one that you want to download. So, if there are any other ones, okay, from these suggested ones, okay, you can as well do the same thing. Click on it, um, copy the image address. That is all you need. The moment you click on a particular image that you want, okay, copy the image address. In other words, copy the URL of the image, okay. Just get it. The moment you're done getting that image, this is what you do next, okay. Open another browser and simply type downloader.la. As you can see on the screen, I just highlighted it now. Downloader.la. When you type that on your browser tap on your enter button to bring it to the home page of downloader.la as you can see on the screen at the moment so when you get to this place the next thing you're expected to do is to scroll down a little you will see things like this okay shutter stock adobe stock alami ntp and so on and so forth now let me tell you this all these things you just seen here now there are various medium with which you can download stock photos from this various stock photos website for free but can i tell you something most of them are not effective but i have tried out two of this platform that have been effective that have been using and they have been working very well for me okay and those two are adobe stock and I stock photo downloader okay now for the purpose of this video I'm going to be working with I stock photo downloader so when you get to downloader.la homepage scroll down come straight to I stock photo downloader you can see it is written in a funny way that is the code okay this is the one that is really working simply click on this download now when you click on download now to take you to another page that looks like this so the moment you get to this page after clicking on download now all you need to do is to click on this place paste the photo link that you copied from iStock photo you remember you've already copied the link place the link here the moment you paste the link here you come to this place and click search photo okay when you click on search photo wait for some seconds something will happen look at download generated photo now I'll download it. Click on download generated photo. The moment I click on download generated photo, a fresh page will open for me and I will be asked to download or save the image. At this junction, the watermark will no more appear on the page. Is that not amazing? Yes, it is. So, this is a simple way that you can download photos from iStockphoto.com without subscribing without paying a dime this is the image as you can see that watermark is no more waiting on it so at this stage what we expected to do is simply right click on the image okay take your cursor there right click on the image come over to save image as okay i want to save the image to my system now right the moment you click save image as a save dialog box will pop up for you so rename the image if you so wish then you save it it will automatically be saved to your download folder or any folder that you have 
align it to download to right just give me some sec it's coming up here we are like i said all you need to do is to give it a name okay for the purpose of this class let me call it hard version 101 great then i click save it's that simple the image will be saved to my system now someone will say are you sure this is not a fluke let's go back to the same image okay let's download it directly without going to download that.la you understand let's save it let's download and see what happens so i click on the same image i right click my mouse and i click save image as the same thing right so the the, the save dialog box will appear for me then all i need to do now is what let's call this internet of things 101 and i save great did you get that now that i have succeeded in saving this image downloading this image directly okay without using downloader.la and saving the image after using downloader.la let's go to my download folder and see what we have there don't forget the first one i did i tagged it hack version 101 the second one which i downloaded directly without using downloader.la i tagged it internet of page 101 simple right this is internet of page okay you see the magic now let me just need to wire here this is internet of page this is hack version 101 no watermark internet of page watermark if you get that great for the purpose of FRC, let me use something else again to explain what I have said thus far so that you won't say it's a I just click okay, I, I just click on iStock now to take me to the home page of iStock photo so that I can search for something fresh and new. Okay, great. Here we are. So I simply type what do I search for now? Okay, let me use fried rice. Okay. With chicken, fried rice with chicken. That sounds cool, right? Great. So what it means is that I'm searching for photo of fried rice and chicken. So every photo, all the photo that I'm expected to see going forward from now will be fried rice and chicken photo, right? Great. So it can be anything. Here we are. Here we are. These are various stock photo of fried rice and chicken. So all you just need to do, like I said earlier, is to what? Take your time. Go through your search results okay and look for the one that resonates with exactly what you are looking for then you pick it accordingly and download it right great for me for the want of time okay I, i'm finding this interesting right i'm finding this interesting too great okay let's let us let us keep one let's assume we are okay with this you click on it you click on it it's coming up It's coming up just some seconds so when you click on it it will bring you to this place okay this same page is telling you that for you to do this you pay 9.99 us dollars to get this photo okay if you're not a subscribe member subscribe member you do 2.749 us dollars for a month subscription and when you do that you get 10 images for free if you are a member that have to subscribe okay then the image will still show up here now yeah here we are this is the photo photo of fried rice chicken and what as you can see again there's watermark if you try to download this photo watermark will come with it let's save it as okay i right click i click on save image as okay the save dialog box will soon pop up it's coming just hold on for some sec great here we are then i'll call it food 101 right i said then use the hack method that i talked about all you need to do is to come over to the browser here the search bar here and copy 
the image link, the image address. You may come over to downloader.la okay, to bring it to this place. You still remember? Great. Then you click on iStock Photo Downloader. When you click on it, it will bring you to this whole page. You still remember? So the moment you get to this place, one thing you are expected to do. Let's click on it. Click on it. It will take me to a page where I'm expected to provide the image address. This is it. I'll type, I'll paste the image address there. So the moment I am done with that, I'll click search image. Okay, you wait for some seconds. Okay, I get a feedback. Don't mind these ads. Times they pop up, at times you just ignore them. Download generated photo. That's what you do. Click on jump. Download generated photo. When you click on download generated photo, the image will pop up for you. Okay, just hold on for some sec. You will see the image. Now, this is the image. So, what are you expected to do next? Touch the image with your mouse and right click your mouse. Click save image as. Okay, when you're done doing that, the save dialog box will pop up for you. Let's call it. Ha ah, food to go to right save it great so that's it then let's go back to our, our, our download folder these are the images remember the first one that I downloaded without using downloader.la I tagged it I saved it with food 101 this is food 101 it came with watermark it came with watermark okay the other one hacked food to remember this is it no watermark wow if this sound interesting to you if you love what you just watch you got value from this video can they go to the comment section type value 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 drop your question if you have any okay thanks so much for your time thank you so much for watching this video i look forward to dropping other valuable content in this youtube channel if this is your first time of watching my content and you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel can you click on the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i pop up valuable content like this on this channel okay until i come your way next time don't forget the page to be strategic so that things will not go epileptic stay peace cheers